Hello, Capricorn. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your February 2019 reading, darlings. This is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration, and this is for sun, moon, or rising. So if this does not resonate with your sun, please check out your moon or your rising from one of the other readings. If it's your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for being here, here at this channel. Um, we help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. Please consider liking and subscribing. And if you're a frequent flyer, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed yet, it costs you nothing. Come on down and subscribe. Um, um, but please, everyone, click the like and share it and leave me plenty of comments. And let's get into your reading. Oh, this is for sun, moon, and rising. Okay, so if it doesn't quite, you know, check out another one. All right. Overall, uh, energy for February. We start with the two crystals. I feel, which is the two of pentacles, I'm using the Star Child Tarot deck. Uh, balance, Cappies, all about balance this month. Um, you've been kind of on a little bit of a roller coaster. But Capricorn, uh, I feel like February is, uh, in general, for the collective, a very powerful month. Very introspective, motivational. Um, a few sudden changes here and there, which don't necessarily jive with you all the, all the time, but I do get this feeling in the sense that, um, Capricorn, that you guys are going to find your footing again. And in fact, we do have the emperor then as well. Um, you're going to own it, right? You're owning your life this month. You're owning your kingdom, your queendom. Um, and then here... This would be you, oppression, or the devil card. So this is this is further to me showing that you're going to own it. You're going to love it. You're going to live it. You're like feeling good about yourself. And um, with the justice card coming up as well, uh, you're really going to start reaping what you sown. You're going to start getting out what you've put in. The scales are to be balanced this month. All right. So let's get into this a little bit further. First week of February, perspective. Cappies, uh, your perspective has been changing on a lot of things. Uh, things, everything for you guys, I feel like lately that can be shaken has been. That's not always a bad thing. But when the earthquakes underneath your feet, you're a little like, eh. But the star seed card comes up, which tells me, um... That's like the Fool card in the Standard Tarot. So all this earthquake and shake and move and like, oh my gosh, all this change has now opened up a bright new world for you. Okay? I love it. Bright new world. With the Page of Wands, baby steps towards that bright new world. But again, your perspective has changed. And you're seeing the world through new eyes, free eyes, liberated eyes with a liberated heart. Great way to start the month. We move into the second week, temperance. Here's some more balance. Balance is going to be the theme. Balance is gonna be your theme. And let me tell you something. You get into balance, there's a lot of good stuff at the end of this month for you. Oh, I tell you, just dropping it. So why is temperance here? You're balancing your logic and the operation of the spirit realm. You're finding some new, are uh, discovering new gifts that you may not have known you had before. And, uh, or new gifts you've been discovering are going to get easier to operate in. Queen of Swords. Live your truth. Mm, live your truth. Be your truth. Walk in it. Be it. Take that divine feminine energy and communicate with your world. Create. Okay create, resuscitate. Uh, some of you have to like bring back to life those dreams and those desires that you thought, oh my gosh, they're never going to come true. But they are with the Page of Swords. Lots of communication. Cappies, you may not always like to communicate. This month, you're going to need to communicate not just only with yourself, being true to self, be, be true with others that are around you that can assist you in this whole process. And also, communication, the vertical communication is very important as well. It's great. Like, I love it. I love when swords come out for me. I love it. 
because it always shows not only communication, but like it, it's a paradigm shift. It's a thought pattern shift. And when we can change our thought pattern, we change our world. If you can get your hold of your thought life, you can change your entire world. You can manifest that most excellent life. Third week, the higher font. So relationships, commitment, um, commitment between spiritual partners, um, more surety in your, again, I keep hearing gifts, man, gifts, spiritual gifts, monetary gifts, like just this abundance. And we have the wheel of fortune. The wheel is definitely turning in your favor. Um, allow it to happen. You know, there might be some new folks coming in, but I feel like there's existing people already in your life that you've been kind of creating a partnership with, or you've had a partnership with, and it just grows. Yeah, these are people that are already in your life with the Six of Cups, your spiritual family, your soul family, right? And potentially your, your natural family. But I'm really feeling your soul family is just gelling and coming together around you and with you. And finally, the Ten of Crystals. Oh my gosh. Abundance. Abundance. Like in every area of your life. Again, you've achieved the balance all throughout the month. You've really dived, delved into um, greater aspects of your spiritual walk and your spiritual strength um, and your spiritual communication and uh, how you view all things uh, metaphysical and now the manifestation is coming in with the four of cups you're going to be contemplating this a lot because this is there are things that are going to happen that are going to be so sudden for you and you're gonna be like whoa hey oh where did this come from but you've been putting a lot of effort into this man you've really worked on your thought life you've worked on your speech you've worked on your manifestation abilities find some serenity relax Okay, just relax. It's all good. There's no need to have your guard up with the seven of wands. Okay, but fight for what you should fight for. In other words, fight for that abundant feeling. Fight for that grounded feeling. Fight for that relationship if it's a new relationship. Fight for that spiritual partnership. Okay? Um, try not to, though, with the three of swords, while you're fighting for it, please do Try not to hold the other person to such a high standard they can't live up to it. Okay. Be gentle with the two of cups as well. I you know, those of you that have love in your in your sights, um, I really do see that just coming to just bear in February. It's really gonna bloom. For those of you that are entering into contractual agreements, partnerships. The Two of Cups symbolizes by the end of February, they're going to be going in full force. All right, Cap, that's what I have for you. Oh my gosh, what a great February you're going to have, right? Um, do, again, like, subscribe, leave me some comments. Um, down below in the description, there is a link to the uh, landing page for my spiritual conference um, on my website. Um, March 8th through 10th, right here in Madison, Wisconsin. Reiki attunement, energy healing, tools to self-heal, tools to help others heal, how to set up your business, growing in your spiritual gifts, um, doing some more aura training on aspects of the aura and, and such. This is going to be a powerful, powerful, powerful weekend. I'm calling it Propelling to Purpose. So if you've just become awakened or you've known, you know, you, you're a light worker, right? And you've just been like, how do I find my purpose? How do I get started? I need something to, I need that energetic, like infusion of life. Come to Madison, hang out with me and a bunch of other people. Our goal is to put 100 light workers and warriors out into the universe, release them into their calling and watch the world change. Be a part of it. What a special, special weekend. All right, guys. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you guys. Namaste. Bye-bye.